update a recent new update from the CDC and the Advisory Committee for Immunization Practices. Now really what they're doing here is they're recommending against the flu mist for this upcoming flu season 2016-2017. Now the flu mist is the nasal spray. It's the nasal vaccine that was given and recommended to younger children and this is a live attenuated vaccine. Now what they're saying is that the flu mist has been ineffective for the last three years. And they're saying specifically that in the last year, this last flu season, it was only 3% effective in preventing influenza. This is compared to the 63% effectiveness that we have for the inactivated influenza vaccine that we currently give. That's a big difference, 3% compared to 63%. They're also saying that from 2013 up until last flu season, it's been lower, or it's been performing lower or less than expected. Now, when it first came out in 2012, it was compared and it was supposed to be as good and it was supposed to have the same efficacy at least as the inactivated influenza vaccine. But after that first flu season, we've noticed that its effectiveness has just been waning. Now, we have to take this with a grain of salt because every flu season is different. But for this upcoming flu season, the CDC is recommending against vaccination. Now, there's been a little bit of controversy as to whether we should vaccinate in certain special situations. For example, if the parents refused a vaccine that's injected, or maybe we can use it in special populations where we don't have the inactivated influenza vaccine, right? But the uh, American Academy of Pediatrics is saying no, regardless of the uh, special pop uh, situation. CDC is also saying no. Now, the American Academy of Family Practice Physicians is actually saying, yes, there might be special situations where we can use this vaccine. But really, the CDC is really recommending against not using it whatsoever. Because at 3% efficacy, is there any point, you know, is it really going to prevent any type of disease, any clinically relevant disease? And probably not. So for this reason, they're recommending against using it all together. Now, remember, they're still recommending that all children six months and above be vaccinated every single year. They are not taking away this recommendation. And we really have two types. We have the recombinant influenza vaccine and we have the inactivated influenza vaccine. Remember the nasal split, the nasal spray, also known as the flu mist, is a live attenuated vaccine. So this is the new updated guidelines from CDC and also from the Advisory Committee of Immunization Practices for 2016-2017 uh, influenza season.